Hello, it's Gemma from Potato Gem Pole Dancer. Today I have three beginner super cute pole moves. I call them super cute because you're gonna wanna get nice and tiny and small. These moves are from a sit, so make sure you're comfortable with doing a sit. And if you're not, I have a video that explains it in more detail called Four Essential Beginner Pole Moves. You might know how much grip you do need to do a good sit, but don't worry, there's many ways to increase your grip, for example, with sticky leggings. And today I'm wearing Superfly Honey sticky leggings. So if you would like to get yourself a pair, you can look in the description box below, click on the link and get 10% off some sticky leggings. So the first move is called an egg. So get yourself into a straight leg sit. You want to be leaning to the side that is opposite your inside arm, which is on the pole. From here, we are going to lean our chest down even more, bend our legs and bring our chest to our knees. You can keep your outside arm on the pole, helping to keep you up. And you can then, if you feel secure, bring your top inside arm around your knees. You wanna keep your ankles crossed. I just find that it helps with grip. And if you do feel secure, you can also take off your inside arm and wrap it around too. Although if you leave it on the pole, no one can see and it pretty much looks the same anyways, but just with a bit more grip. My top tip for this one is to remember to lean as much as you can to the other side. You'll have the grip on the top of your thigh for the top leg and at the back of your bottom thigh. This move should hurt it means that you're gripping well. <laughs> Our next move is what I like to call hug yourself move. I don't know if that's the real name, but such as the life of pole, you don't know many of the names of the moves. You want to get into a straight leg sit. Pull yourself up, straight legs, leaning to the side. From here, you want to lower your top inside arm, bringing your chest closer to the pole, and then bringing this elbow of your inside arm around the pole, so it's gripped nice and tight. You're still tilting to the side at this stage. You then want to bring the outside arm and bring it around the pole as well. So you're kind of squeezing your chest into the pole. From here, you want to bend your legs and it's okay to keep them on one side. Right now, they're behind the pole. But eventually, you keep squeezing the pole to your chest and you want to turn into the pole and bring your legs on either side of the pole. You're still squeezing the pole between your legs to keep yourself up, and you're hugging the pole into your chest. You can then bring your head to the side, to the side that I was leaning towards, which is my left side. And coming down. So my top tip for this move is to really use your elbows to bring your chest into the pole. And then when you're ready to bring your legs to either side of the pole, you wanna do so very slowly. So first, you're still tilting to the side. You bring in your legs slowly, and then you turn your chest to the pole, still hugging yourself with your elbows. And then you see this leg on the same side of the pole as my other leg. You want to bring that to the other side. 
and you're still squeezing the pole nice and tight between your legs. The next move is also a hug yourself move, but we can call it self-love just to spice it up. You want to get into a straight leg sit. Surprise, surprise. Next, we want to bring our outside arm over on top of the pole and then weave our inside shoulder in front of the pole. To do this, reach out to the side, to the outside arm and bring your chest forwards and around to the front. Now, we want to get into a sit position. So bending our leg, our bottom leg goes to the other side of the pole, behind the pole. Our top leg goes over the knee towards our outside arm. The trick here is you wanna leave a nice little triangle here. So what you can do now is, if you feel secure, you weave your outside arm through the gap and hold your thigh. And then with your inside arm, bringing our chest down, we wanna then hold the bottom foot and bring our head down to look super cute. I'm now gonna show you from this side. So again, we are here, we've weaved to the front of the pole. We are now in a sit position. We want to bring our outside arm through the gap, hug our thigh, our chest is already down. Bring our foot up if you can't reach it. And then bring your head down. My top tip for this move is to remember to keep leaning to the side, which will be the opposite side to your top arm. Then make sure you leave a gap in your leg here. You wanna really squeeze your legs together. So this leg here is crossed over and it's tilting into the pole. So my knee is being brought to my chest, which also pushes this bottom leg into the pole. So my top leg tilts, so my knee is facing towards my chest, which consequentially pushes the inside leg into the pole. Then to get an extra bit of grip, when you weave your outside arm through, you can really hug it and pull it into the pole even more. And then you can bring your chest down and bring in your chest down by pulling on your thigh with your hand can help you reach that bottom leg. 